You were saying about uh, how people use AI to kind of summarize things and all that. So there's a tool that I use that uh, is a Chrome extension. And it, if you go to a YouTube video, the extension appears next to the video. And if you click on it, it either gives you a transcript of it or it creates a summary in ChatGPT. So if you click on the ChatGPT summary, it opens a new tab in ChatGPT with your account loaded and it spits out the summary. I can then go, hey, give me a summary, like a, a description of this video. And then I want you to give me uh, like 10 bullet points of question, like questions that were asked in this interview for like, what will you learn? And then you could even, you know, ask it to go, what do you think would be a 30 second hook? Something that's interesting that people would want to watch. So I can pretty much with using ChatGPT, create a lot of the metadata that YouTube needs for making the video more interesting and making it so people are more likely to click, more likely to stay. Um, so I feel like that's a really valuable use. And I'm, that's only ChatGPT 3.5. I don't even, don't even have to pay for that one. Uh, so I think there's a lot of benefits to using ChatGPT. I actually just recorded a video about ChatGPT. I'm going to be releasing it later this week. Um, I was starting to edit it right before we started our interview, actually. Uh, so that's kind of an aside. No, I, that, that does sound like a super cool. Um, and now I'm thinking about all the ways that uh, we could probably use that in our you know, social media. Oh, oh yeah, man. There's there's tools where you can, um, if you write a blog, well, first of all, you can say, hey, ChatGPT, give me, uh, you know, here's a, an idea, like write a blog about it. And I did that for one of my businesses. I created about 20 articles in 20 minutes. But then in order for Google to not penalize you, you have to rewrite it. You Like basically you have to take the core concepts and rewrite it. So that took two or three days uh, on top of that. But then there's another tool where you can give it a, a blog URL and it'll turn it into a teaser video that you can then post on your social media to get people to go back to the blog and read the whole thing. So there's a lot of ways that you can really uh, single-handedly, you know, without the need for other people, get a bunch of content created very fast. ChatGPT will come up with ideas for you. You can go, hey, my business is about you know, HR functions and automations and all that, you know, create 20 blog titles for me. And then you can go, all right, well, why don't you make all of those blogs for me? Then you go, uh, now make summaries of all those blogs so that I can, you know, do this and that, create you know, like a teaser, make a Twitter thread. You can do so much with it and, and it's all automatic. And then you can actually throw it into Buffer, for example, and bu Buffer will, will schedule it. You know, you can schedule it, queue it, and, and then Buffer will post it out for you. So, um, yeah, there's, there's so much cool stuff going on. I actually made another video that I'm going to release maybe next week about how um, how I'm using AI and my personal op opinions and professional opinions and emotions involved in, in those feelings about it all. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm trying to do a lot with AI stuff because it, it's so important. That's also why I'm, I'm a little bit heavy on the AI questions with you um, because I think AI is an HR dream. You know, anything that can be automated, please automate for me, please. I need it. Um, when I was doing HR, it was a mess. Uh, I have friends that are in HR and they're constantly bombarded with nonsense or they're in meetings six hours a day and yet they're supposed to be hiring people. And like, how are you supposed to run hiring processes if you're constantly in meetings about how HR is run? 